Hey guys, this is Diane here from Design Creative, and I'm going to show you how to create custom post types using Themify's Post Type Builder. First thing you need to do is head over to themify.me and download their Post Type Builder, which costs $29. And in this tutorial, I have also downloaded their two extensions, Add-on Extra Fills extension and the Add-on Submissions extension. You can also scroll down to the bottom of the home page and fill in any of these two boxes to get a discount on the plugin itself. Once you've made this purchase, you can download your plugins from the dashboard, upload them to your WordPress site and activate them. To create a post type, we click on Add New. And here we type in the name of our post types. We can choose which standard features we want our post type to support. And we can also do things like add taxonomies. Now let's add some custom meta to our custom post type. As you can see, we have a range of different fields that we could use, including galleries and ratings. Once you've created your fields, you can move them around to wherever you choose. And you can customize things like the labels if you choose to. And there's also advanced options. So with this custom post type called event, I probably don't want it to be hierarchical and I more than likely want to change the icon of this post type. In order for your custom post type to appear in your theme, you need to first create a template. So let's do that now. Now that you've named your template and you've assigned your template to your custom post type, you have two options here. One, you can edit the single post template or you can edit the archive. Let's choose to edit the single post template. This screen is where all the magic happens. So I can choose whichever fields I want to place within this template. And I can also do things like change columns. I can add rows. I can move things around. So it practically works like a drag and drop builder. Within each module, there are individual options which you can use to customize your layout even further. Let's continue building out the look of this template. Once we've got all our modules in and we've customized it to however we please, we can now save the template. And that template has now been assigned to our custom post type. Next, what we would need to do is create an actual post within our post type. So let's do that now. Once you've filled in our custom post type, let's publish this and view what this looks like in the web. As you can see, we have our gallery here, our metadata with our rating field. But what we have here is the date underneath the content. So let's go back and change that. We can go into the post type builder, templates, edit the template. And we can just move that date up to the top and press save. Now when we look at our post, we'll be able to see the changes are made instantly. Themeify also gives us the ability to post to our custom post type using a form. And the plugin that they've created for that is the Post Type Builder Submission Form. Let's create a form now. You can also charge a fee to submit content to your website, which is also great for membership sites as well. You can choose to auto publish the post once somebody has completed it or you can wait for it to be approved. You can display a successful message or you can redirect to a thank you page once somebody has submitted a post. I'm going to choose to 
submit it to a page called my submissions which is actually a page created by themify as you can see here the builder is pretty much the same as the template builder you literally just drag and drop the fields that you want your users to fill in when they view the form so let's do that now Once you've created all your fields, you can literally press save. And press X to exit out of the form. Once you've done that, you'll be given a short code, which you copy and you can paste into any page you want. Now members of the public and members of your website can submit a post to your custom post type and it will go to you automatically to be approved before it gets published to the web. So let's do that now so I can show you another really useful feature that this plugin has. Once a user has submitted all the fields into the form, once they press submit, they will be greeted with the My Submissions page, page which I put in before. And as you can see, they have the ability to look at uh, the posts that they've done, they can delete them and they can also edit them as well. You can also see stuff like the status of the actual post and the post type and whether it's paid or not. Now, the really great thing I love about this plugin is that it is extremely compatible with Headway. All you need to do is head over to Themes and let's activate Headway. And let's choose this layout here. The only thing that we would need to do to make sure that it's fully compatible is when we open up our content block, we make sure that it's display where it says featured post is set to zero and we can press save. The reason why we need to do this is because we've spent this tutorial creating a single uh, post type. Um, or creating a single template for the post type. But if you needed to create a index of all of your uh, posts for that particular post type, so if you needed to create an index for all of your events, then setting the featured, uh, the featured post to zero actually helps the template display properly. So that's the only thing um, that you would probably have to change here. So let's have a look and press start or press save. And let's have a look at the My Submissions page. As you could see, it's all very easy. And if I click on one of the custom post types, you could see the custom post type displays exactly how we need it to be displayed. Now, as an administrator of the site, I can go into the back end and have a look at my events. And here I can see Jamie Oliver and Pool Party, and they're both published, as you could see. But if I go back, let's say if I go back to my submissions and I go to edit this, so I'm going to put third and I press submit here. You can see immediately it goes into pending. So if I have a look again, back at my events, you could see I have a pending 
uh, post here. And also to keep track of all the posts that we have and all our post authors, the Themify plugin gives us the ability to look at our submitted uh, posts from here. And this gives us a great ability to filter even more uh, the statuses of each of our posts. And it also gives you a look at all of the people who have made posts to uh, your website too. So um, that's about it for this tutorial. I hope it's been helpful for you. This plugin is bloody amazing. Like I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I absolutely love it. The link below is in the description if you're thinking about purchasing it or demoing it. I would definitely recommend this um, as part of my toolkit simply because it's just so easy to make a custom post type with this and to add fields and everything. So um, it's still quite a baby in terms of um, the features that it has. It's not, um, it's not as uh, aggressive as uh, advanced custom fields though the one of the reasons why I really really like advanced custom fields and types and views as well the tool set is the ability um, to have short codes which I can use on any part of my website unfortunately this doesn't have that yet it doesn't it's not that um, it's not that mature enough to have that, but for what it does, it's really, really easy. And I've just um, finished using a, uh, doing a project. Well, I haven't quite finished, but I've just nearly completed a full uh, a project with this particular plugin. And I had to buy a number of different plugins before I bought this one. And this one basically does everything that I need it to do. So um, if this sounds like your cup of tea, if you don't want to mess around too much in coding, you really just want something pretty much basic and up, then I would definitely recommend downloading uh, this plugin. And if you see any bugs, I've seen a couple of bugs um, using this plugin and I have reported it to Themify and they're on it already. So if you do see any bugs, um, please notify them. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the other side. And also, before I forget, um, I do have a headway group so I'm going to, um, it's called the Headway Theme Users. If you haven't already, like come over and say hi, um, introduce yourself um, and mix with the rest of us here. There's about 400 and odd of us here. So please come and say hi, talk about Headway, talk about plugins and all the rest of the goodness that WordPress has to offer. And I'll see you on the other side. Bye.